we have company A. Company A acquires another company. Let's call it company B. Between or more than 50%, it's more greater than 50%. Now let's assume company A acquires company B 80%. Now, how do we call this B? Now, this is what we call a subsidiary. It's called a subsidiary. And this company is known as the holding or the parent company. A has acquired B 80%. Now, this B becomes a subsidiary. Now, a subsidiary, since we have more than half of the shares, that means for the subsidiary, we can have what we call control. We can control them. Also, company A can acquire another company. Let's call it company C. Between 20% to 50%. Now, for example, let's assume it's 40%. Company A acquired C 40%. Now, in this case, this is what we call a NASO sheet. And when it's 50%, it's known as a joint venture. But now for the joint venture, we have some uh, condition which has to be met for it to be a joint venture. Now for the joint venture, there must be an agreement to have what we call joint control. Now, another difference between a subsidiary and an associate is that for the associate, we cannot control them. Subsidiary, you are controlling them since you have more than half of the shares. Now for the associate, you cannot control them, but you have what we call significant, a significant influence that means subsidiary you can control them but for associate you cannot control them but you can have what you call significance influence eh? what do you mean by the significance influence significance influence that means you can participate in their financial matters operating matter and whenever they are sitting on the board you have your representation but if for the control that means you can become it's like a dictator eh? you can be able to dictate to them but this one you cannot dictate to them you have just have significance influence so now that's the difference between a subsidiary and an associate then another thing you need to know when company a acquires company b 80 percent this 80 percent there is another proportion of 20 percent in b which has not been acquired by a how do we call that now this 20 is what we call nci or what we call the non-controlling interest this is what we call the non-controlling interest. And for non-controlling interest, it's also known as the minority. Minority shareholders or minority interest. So if one company acquires the other one 80%, the other proportion not acquired, the 20%, it's known as the non-controlling interest. Now that's all about the group perspective. That's the introduction. That's the introduction. So now let's look at something else. We look at something else. Still under that, you need to know about the group. And one after you have been able to differentiate between the subsidiary and an associate, what else are you supposed to know? So, hoping we are there now. So consolidation of the business combination refers to bringing together of separate entities into one reporting entity. In that case, this result, uh, the, uh, the result of all business combination into one entity or the acquired obtained controls over one or more other entities, acquires control. If you control more than one company, 